All right, let's just start. I don't want to wait anymore. Let's get it started. Very excited. What's up? What's up, Fabian? What's up, Hyde? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, Sarah? What's up, Ryan? Millionaire Ryan. Let's go. What's up, James? What's up? What's up? Dag, dag. What's up? What's up? What's up? New sub here, bro. Let's go. Let's get it. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. What's up, Hassan? What's up, Ahmed? What's up? What's up? How many parts of the A to Z guide will there be, will there, will be there totally? Sorry. I guess we never know. <laughs> I should have a soundboard like that. I guess we never know. <laughs> How many parts? Let me actually check between... Uh, let me actually check for you guys. Let's see. Uh, I have a schedule here. Uh, so we are currently at 14. So... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That's where we currently are. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Uh, let's say nineteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Around, yeah, between like Ryan said, between twenty and thirty. I think maybe around twenty-six, something like that. So we are we are halfway there over halfway so something approximately like 30 i would say approximately 30 let's see what's up antonio what's up how are you doing brother how are you doing what's your favorite entry type Ooh, <laughs> ooh, that's a great question uh do you know the 2022 model so the uh 2022 model i go over it in the a to z guide as well i give little hints because of course it's a mentorship thing etc and uh, i don't like to to spoil that but uh after the 2022 model so after your first line of defense gets respect then you have a new fair value gap that is where i want to enter <laughs> that that that's it <laughs> what's up phil great to see you again great to see all these familiar names great 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 to see it again i wasn't there of course uh well, last week so uh so uh yeah i missed you guys i missed every single one of you Hope you're fine. Hope you're fine as well, Phil. I'm doing, uh, I'm doing all right. What's up, Nick? Of course, you can always ask me anything you like. Uh, first, I will go over a weekly forecast as well. And then afterwards, I'm just planning on doing questions. Just talking with you guys. That is way, way more fun, I believe. What's up, Usman? Can I get a recommended uh, for entry model, sir? Ooh, uh, have you watched the HZ guide? Have you had the chance to watch it? I go over a few entry models in there, but I will go uh, more in depth as well what's up trying to become someone great to see you you're you're such a familiar name just like josh what's up josh how are you doing i know i seen josh on uh, on twitter i should actually give josh fx a follow i should i should so if you're interested go give josh fx a follow on twitter great 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 guy let me check all right perfect Yes, exactly, Bjorn. Exactly. Let's just get it off. Let's get it over with, right? Let's get it over with. What's up, Wolfpack? How are you doing? Mo, what's up? I see you, Mo. I see you. <laughs> Miss Diva, I'm going to talk about a weekly forecast mainly. And then afterwards, I'm going over questions. So it can go every way. We can talk about swing grading. We can talk about macros, whatever the questions are market maker models can also happen what's up tori how are you doing <laughs> great to see everyone here and of course the 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 i think it's russian right the hello yana i think it's russian right i sorry i can't pronounce it but it's it, i do recognize the name what's up what's up great to see everyone our boy i've been waiting for this <laughs> i've been waiting as well eric i've been waiting as well great to see you again though great to see you again Hey, Ari, what about EU? What's your bias? We had a strong buy sell liquidity and above this buy sell liquidity weekly volume versus PDA. But this week we close above CE of weekly for value. Yeah, that's a great point. That's a great spot as well by you. I will go over it for sure. Yo, you're in a... Yes, actually. It is in a market maker buy model. For sure. That's a great, great observation as well, Sean. What's up? What's up, Hanan? What's up? What's up? What's up, Ari? I'm your friend from Kelvin New Discord. Hey, what's up? How are you doing? How are you doing, brother? How are you doing, my friend? How are you doing? Great. In the Kelvin Discord, yeah, as well. If you, uh, if you are interested, I'm in a few Discords. So if you are interested, I, I sometimes go in the Discord. And uh, this Discord is uh, Kelvin FX. 
on Twitter as well. And here's an open Discord. So if you are interested, go take a look. And give give uh, Kelvin a WhatsApp. I follow him on Twitter as well. So if you if you just mention in his Discord, hey, I was on the live stream, I'll give it a I'll give it a watch. How do you identify direction from a high tire frame? I I'll go over it right here. But if you watch the ATZ guide as well, I'm sorry I'm referring a lot to the ATZ guide, but the ATZ guide is structured in such a way like uh it is very difficult for me to hear have five minutes and explain a full higher time frame direction to you in detail. So the A to Z guide is the perfect opportunity for, for, for that. Uh, from Russian, Russian traders, love it. Absolutely love it. Can you show your trades from this week? I will, I will. I, I uh, took one trade actually. I only took one trade this week and it was a break even trade. And I will go over the details as well. Very interesting. Can you give uh, some examples where not to enter? For sure. Let's do it. So let's dive into the weekly forecast. And then again, I will go over the questions. I'll scroll a bit, etc. What's the next A to Z? Sorry, I missed it, Fabian. What's the next A to Z guide about? Uh, the next one, let me see. I think it's about we are going to go into weekly profiles. I think we are going to go into weekly profiles. Let me actually take a look. Uh, yeah, days of the week, weekly profile. So that's what the next thing is about. All right, perfect. Let's take a look. So here we have the dollar. <laughs> I've missed doing this. Let's go. Here we have the dollar. Perfect. So uh, if you watch the latest ATC guide video, you also saw a little uh, bias on that. Now we were expanding higher and then here discount arrays started failing. So whenever we have that, then obviously premium arrays might start holding. If neither discount arrays and neither premium arrays are holding, what do we have? We have a seek and destroy profile. So right here, we have premium arrays holding. So one side of the market is currently still holding. So what is the next premium array that we can trade off of? Well, when we close or when we open, sorry, when we open on Monday, we have a daily fair value gap sitting right there. Now, depending on where the volatility will come into this week, how can we know where the volatility will come into the week? News, economic calendar. So right here, I haven't taken a look at the economic calendar just yet, actually. So maybe on Tuesday, Wednesday, etc., or even Monday, we can see a spike into the daily for value gap and then a continuation lower. Now, what do we have as target? Now, can you see this already? Uh, this this part of the flood and the lot etc this already leads me to my order flow now uh, and to my drawn liquidity so the thing here uh, i don't combine this daily fair value gap with another premium rate why not well we have we have a premium rate right here an order block right but it is very high and there's only wicks here so in that case when we only have wicks here we would disrespect this daily fair value gap and then come all the way here and then continue lower could happen but if price is in high momentum right now i would expect only a sting into that and then a continuation lower which leads our to our drawn liquidity these equal lows potentially now the thing is uh interesting question as well what happened on eu as well is we had a weekly fair value gap right here and if we were to continue higher i would like to see this weekly fair value gap getting respected which we didn't do and it was the question for me this week was a bit tricky on the dollar because uh, we can get to a very clear drawn liquidity after uh, last week happened because we either disrespect this weekly for value gap or we disrespect this four hour for value gap and this four hour order block this is all based on flat and lot by the way eh? this is all in the a to z guide so I was waiting right here. We obviously had FOMC and CPI. I was waiting right here. Either we disrespect this, so we continue higher off of this, and then I would expect higher prices. That would make the drawn liquidity, these highs right there, liquidity right there, or we disrespect the weekly fair value gap, which we did right here. And now I would expect lower prices from the daily for value gap or a little sting higher into the four hour order block as well and then a continuation lower that is what i'm expecting currently so automatically 
that creates a bullish environment on EU and you, for example. So right here, uh, someone mentioned it as well. We have a market maker buy model. And you will see as well, usually the, if you have a market maker buy model, the sell side of the curve, so this is the sell side of the curve, it takes a long time, right? And then the highest probability action where we actually want to get involved is the buy side of the curve, right? It is over within two weeks. And then afterwards, you do what? You need to wait again for a new high probability condition to get involved again. So ideally, we want to get involved somewhere around here in a new discount array that is forming. That is exactly where we want to be in the market. And then we want to ride the expansion until we reach this draw liquidity, which is the OG, as I call it, the original consolidation of the market maker buy model in this case. So uh, we reached the target, by the way, that we had outlined was that fair value gap right there. And then now we can potentially see a sting into this new fair value gap. Voila. Now, the interesting thing as well, right? Uh, I always tell this uh, to the mentorship as well. There is a characteristic on Thursday and Friday. Thursday and Friday is usually uh, not, a rain, not a trending day anymore. The trend is, is over. If you are looking for trending days, you better get involved Tuesday or Wednesday. And then afterwards, you want to take profit on a Thursday and Friday. Thursday and Friday is where we kept the week. How can we know we kept the week? This is, thank God, it's Friday. The TGIF, as some people call them, Twitter, etc. In that case, usually when Thursday doesn't cap the week, for example, right here, how can we know it caps the week? By having a displacement lower. We don't have a displacement lower here. We close pretty high. So in this case, we have a sweep of Thursday high. And then we kept a week. That is a very interesting uh, part about it. Open weekly chart. Let me take a look. Let me take a look. Yeah, we are in this. Indeed, like you said, right? This is the same as on the dollar. We are in this uh, big weekly fair value gap. But... See what we're doing right here? We are closing above it or slightly closing above it. I'm not, not sure. Not, not a close above it. Not a close above it. But there's no rejection away. Same as on the dollar. We are closing below it on the dollar as well. So, again, might be something we have to pay attention to. But I would expect higher prices here on EU. So, that is very interesting. And then again, where can we go higher from? Right here. That is what I would want to see ideally. So let me go over a few more pairs as well. Inices, of course. I know a lot of people uh, trade Inices as well. GU, same story, right? Same story as on EU and, and the dollar. ES. ES. So the thing I don't like about ES, actually this contract has expired as well. Let me actually find a new contract and let me go over just a continuous contract. So... What market correlates with ES and uh, NQ? Uh, YM, the Dow. So YM. That is the main correlation uh, with ES and NQ. And then overall, that, that, that is the closest. So you would use that on uh, SMT. But for, for, uh, the, for just a general view of correlation, you can also use the dollar and the bonds, etc. So right here, we have ES, of course. And... We are creating a new fair gap. Now, the only thing I don't like, and I've been saying about this, uh, I've been saying this for a while now, ES and NQ have been expanding a lot, and I don't like that because I don't like chasing price. That's what I don't like. So I would always want some kind of retracement and then get involved. Now, of course, this is the same scenario, right? We have a daily fair value gap right there, but we do have a range. Remember the ranges? We have a swing low here and a swing high here. So this is your range, your most recent range. Now you can see we are still in premium right there. That is what I don't like about it. Again, if we are continuing higher, we could very well continue higher off of here or potentially even come into that gap. Now this is a gap on the continuous contract on the ESU contract. There might not be a gap. Let me actually take a look. Yeah, exactly. There's no gap there. So. Right here, we could come into that daily fair value gap as long as we don't come below this low right there. Especially with a bearish dollar, dollar we would expect indices to rise, to go even higher than they already are. 
So the same for, I need to replace them. I need to replace my pairs again, or my instruments. Same for NQ, for NASDAQ, right there. We have this range, then we have data for gap actually sitting at perfect equilibrium right there. So that's pretty interesting. And then right there on the weekly, we are just expanding higher currently. Could even create a weekly for Vega potentially, but it's, we'll look at that next week. On the four hour, uh, we have a small, tiny daily fair value gap. Now I'll give you a hint as well. Uh, the bigger the fair value gap, the more I like it. So I generally don't really like those very small fair value gaps. I just, I see they don't get respected as, as bigger fair value gaps. Might just because on a different broker, they get printed somewhat uh, a different way. So on brokers, generally, when you have a big fair value gap, then it is agreed upon that on every broker, there's a fair value gap. So if you're looking at a kind of different broker than on a small fair value gap, there might not actually be a fair value gap. That makes sense. So right here on the four hour, we do have this with overlapping fair value gaps. So that might also be interesting. So take a look at that. Let me also look, take a look at gold, actually. Because I heard gold had a nice move. Yes, exactly. We came into the weekly uh, level right there. And now we are expanding pretty high. So we have a beautiful target, in my opinion, of this fair value gap that we can finally now reach for. So how can we deliver there? If we take a look at the four hour. We have this breaker right there. We have fair value gap as well there. We could see a sting into this fair value gap because it's still pretty high. I wouldn't expect uh, all the way here, but sting into that and then a continuation higher could be very, very reasonable. So that is pretty interesting as well. I think we're having an SMT form, uh, GU, EU, GU broke previous most high while EU is yet too. It's more clear on the weekly timer. I think it's next week. And it will. Yeah, true, true. For sure. For sure. That is something to take a look at as well. Uh, when is DUX reverting? As well as, bro, what times do you trade on DUX? So for DUX, I currently don't actually trade it. It is currently, as well, we have new all-time highs. So whenever that happens, I don't like it because I feel like I'm either trying to call a top or I'm trying to call uh, or I'm trying to chase price. And I just don't like that generally. So uh, right here, when is DUX reversing? Well, we would have to have new structure forming. So this is your short term low essentially. Eventually when we check out the intermediate term low, of course we don't have to wait for that, but I want to see displacement below a short term low. And then another confirmation, and that is how I can, oh, all right, DUX is now potentially reversing. Now, what times do I trade DUX? I usually trade DUX in London. London has a very nice move or used to have very nice moves for DUX. Very clean actually. Uh, Currently, DUX has been, been an absolute mess. I used to trade DUX a lot right here when it wasn't consolidating as much, but it's a shame. Hello, Ariel. What's up? What's up? What's up, Hammers? How are you doing? Is it possible to do analysis AMD by full PD? I'm working on it, but I need more advice. So the uh, AMD, you mean the accumulation, manipulation, distribution by full PD, premium discount? Is that what you mean? So what I can tell you is let's say we are trying to focus on what where the next month is expanding from or we want to see where the next monthly candle is going to expand if we have a monthly order block right there and this is the easiest way for me to explain power three and amd same stuff right uh, or at least close so right here we have monthly order block then in this monthly open what can we expect when we wick down below it on a daily of course it will look a bit more fancier right here we have accumulation manipulation down and then boom above these highs you have distribution and above these highs even distribution so the thing is if you zoom out it is very important to not get lost on on the four hour for example or the one hour here because on the one hour you will think oh yeah we are continuing lower here but if you zoom out to the monthly it's it's a very it's a very logical continuation move right here. If you use the flood and the lot method, and then you don't get blindsided essentially. US 30, let's do it. Let's do it. US 30. 
Let's take a look. YMU. YMCA. Good song. I wish we could play some songs on here, but most of it is copyright, right? I don't want to get my channel taken down. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure how it works, actually. So, right here, what did we come into it? Again, a weekly for value gap right there. And now we are expanding higher. Do we have something on the weekly? Uh, not really, but this high is what? It's a swing failure, right? So this is a level of support. That's essentially how you could view it. A level of support that we have right there. So if we now, and you can see nested inside of that, I do like US 30 cur uh, currently because uh, the reason I like it is because uh, if you compare it to NASDAQ or ES, ES and NASDAQ have been expanding like crazy. So like I said, I feel like I'm chasing price. Here, I don't feel like I'm chasing price. So here, uh, when we do have a nested order block inside a weekly swing failure, inside a weekly mitigation block, we have a daily fair value gap, something along the lines of that, very clean. I would love to see that. Absolutely beautiful. So inside a four hour, Again, here I would just stick to the daily. So on the daily, I would expect next week to be a bullish week. That is what I would expect. Let's see. Let's see. When does the daily candle start? New York midnight start of Asia session. New York midnight. So that is if you set your time to UTC minus four, aka just a New York time zone, then just zero 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 zero. Uh, what is it? Right here, zero 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 zero. That's it. Also, when price takes an intermediate term low, there's high probability of taking out a short term high and respecting that intermediate term high at the beginning. Exactly. However, if the fair value gap is overlapping a PD rate below equilibrium, I heard if it's overlapping a PD rate below equilibrium, can you trade that instead of waiting to retrace above equilibrium? That is a great question. Yes, you can. Depending, uh, Nick, I would ask you if you have the first move. So the first move, if it's the absolutely if it's a breaker let's say it's a breaker then i would expect price to come higher so into equilibrium when it isn't a breaker and it is a mitigation block so it's the second second time you've already moved let me actually draw it, it would be way easier <laughs> so when we have something like this this move i would now expect more of a premium so a move into equilibrium again now when we have this move, now I wouldn't necessarily expect price to come all the way back into equilibrium. We could very well just do this because we've already had our fair value right there. We don't need to deliver it all the time right here. That makes sense. And if that was your question, of course. <laughs> Drunk and drugs. <laughs> you know it, Fabian. There's a German version of that as well, right? The, the alcohol and the drugs uh, stuff. The song tips on money management especially passing prop firm valuation yeah so prop firm uh i always advise nowadays go for a prop firm that has no time limit so um my fund of facts or tradu or uh i don't know funded engineer i don't know there's a lot of them find uh find one that has good feedback so good reviews that actually pays out you know how it works etc i coincidentally know how to do work so but if, if to do is nothing for you then go for another and when you have no time limit there is actually not a reason to uh fill so of course that's easier said than done but you should have parameters so below break even risk 0.5 percent always and then above uh, break even always risk zero one uh, percent and then try to build a buffer uh, but when should I take partials and how much partials? That is something for your strategy because for my strategy, partials are detrimental for my risk to reward. Uh, what I'm saying with that is if I take partials, I am not actually profitable anymore because I, I, I kill the risk to reward ratio essentially. So I always take full profit at a certain point. But again, that depends a lot on your strategy. A lot. Hello family, what's up Humble Trades? How you doing? Great to see you. Great to see you. Don't over leverage, don't impulse trade, don't be impatient. Exactly, great, great, great advice. 
great advice as well may you please uh, analysis tesla tesla let's go let's do it i actually like uh doing analysis on stocks uh, i used to do it always but i haven't done it in a long time so this was actually a great question as well i got in the mentorship and uh someone asked me do you look at all the gaps here or uh how do you deal with it so what i would do here is actually turn on this indicator now you can change the colors as well of this indicator but let's just keep it this way then i would just view this as fair value gaps so it's a little bit different but i would just view it as fair value gaps instead because otherwise if you have gaps everywhere then you will always have a reason to trade everywhere right so that's a little bit difficult let me remove it as well perfect so on a weekly what do we have on a weekly all right we have a weekly fair value gap sitting right there below price then what can we target we can target that right there so potentially even let me also look at the monthly we have a monthly gap but again there's a lot of gaps so a lot of ideas to take a trade from if we want to continue higher then uh, it is very important to realize which one do we reach first do we reach this order block first right there or do we reach this weekly for value gap first if we reach this one first and we have a sweep above previous week high we could potentially target this weekly for value gap if we have or if we reach this weekly for value gap first then we could target this so that is the reacting part here you need to react which one do we reach first and that is the one you play so if we reach this one first potentially shorts until we reach that and here potential longs until we reach that essentially little ping pong play i would say hello what's up adnan how are you doing brother how are you i'm doing great thank you so D. yeah i just uh, went over gold as well uh, uh stops and schnapps yeah exactly that's the name <laughs> stops and schnapps oh that's crazy i've been back testing the months of uh october december 2022 on gu and i noticed that the 50 percent level consolidates for ages yeah that is a uh, as well if you go back of course uh, a year in forex it was even worse so forex has been in a consolidation for a while it's been getting better though when going down into lower tariffs, do these conditions make it less likely for pd rates to be reached on lower tariffs in these conditions but the thing is uh it depends on your model if you have a seek and destroy model a seek and destroy model what is a seek and destroy model a seek and destroy model is basically where you uh trade turtle soups and then you look for lower a lower time frame confirmation of that sweep so maybe a previous day high sweep and then you target a previous day low for example and you use the 2022 model and the 2022 model you works very well in seek and short conditions but if you have a trending model for example then seek and short conditions like you talked about the consolidation where we don't really move from pd ray to pd ray and we don't follow through that is the biggest point when you have a trending model and the higher time frame is not following through on pd rays that is exactly seeking for conditions so it is not it is coming into an order block for example but it is not respecting it and moving away that is seeking for conditions and when both sides of the market have that that is very dangerous to trade right let's see ducks uh ducks i do think i do think we might be heading higher still off of here if we do want to ex uh, expand higher we are just coming into this for value gap so next week we might see some weird consolidation like typical ducks and then see an expansion higher could very well be the case or reach into this for value gap but still expecting higher prices i don't think we will uh sweep the all-time high here and then go lower not just yet mm -mm. let's see let's see where was i could you repeat the FTMO props you suggested again real quick? Uh, my funded FX, if you Google that one, fun, funded engineer. Funded engineer is a pretty good one, I believe. And Tradu, so T-R-A-D-D-O-O. -O. Uh, those are the main ones. But again, I've heard a lot of bad stories about 8cap. That is personal stories i haven't experienced it but i heard a lot of bad stories about a cap there's a lot of slippage i believe so be careful with that but 
Uh, yeah. Is there a reason to need a prop firm to trade my own uh, IRAs? No, absolutely not, Andy. You can perfectly uh, trade your own uh, capital or your own personal uh, money. You don't need prop firms to to make it in this industry. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. It might take, uh, of course, you can use prop firms as leverage. So you will get capital faster, etc. But again, you don't need it. You don't need it. I saw from ICT and don't take my word for stone, but you should enter a trade with your biggest amount. Oh uh, yeah, uh, peer meeting. The peer meeting. So you enter first uh, with the biggest amount and then slowly you lower your risk on the next next trade, essentially. You can go with chart 8 hour all gaps who closed. Except, eh, actually, wait, let me. I didn't know that. 8 hour. I would, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm doing it right. I'm not sure if I'm doing it right. Thanks for work. I'm Ice Frick, but your videos make great impact on my bias and narratives. SMT, this video is very nice. It's what I use. It. Hey, perfect. Gave me a new idea. Perfect. Great to hear. Great to hear. Absolutely love it. Watch more Pakistan. What's up? What's up? What's up? Great to hear. Love it. When you're on a higher time frame market, all py slash pd raise like daily slash weekly and your prices buys after ssl the sales of liquidity is taken can you show just an example how you get in buys on lower time from like 15 minutes and to target buys of liquidity yeah sure let's do it so let's say let me find it let me actually go over a trade as well that i took this week i uh, almost forgot it so let's say this was a pr pretty clean move so let's say on the daily what did we have right there or was it on the four hour i'm not sure where it was again we had a sweep of sell side liquidity here into this order block as well then on the 15 minute what did we see we have right here and then we have here breaker this can already be your entry right where we take we have taken sell side liquidity we came into the order block right there that can already be your entry. Now, this next entry is what's called a silver bullet right there on the Fervale gap. Here, I would cover this low and then target whatever you want to target. Of course, first target would be this one. Second target can be something on the daily or the four hour. And for this one, my stop loss would be right there and same target right there and potentially even target something on the four hour right so what could that look like so you have some liquidity right there could target that for example that is a very simplified entry model don't need to make it uh that that uh, different triple relative equal highs to the left uh which chart was it i'm not sure i'm not sure i saw it hey what's the difference between your basic mentorship and master class basic is uh uh, basic is educational videos, but you don't get support from me. But uh, it's funny actually because someone, uh, if you saw my tweet, someone today and before that got max allocation, so 300k, 300k allocation with a with a prop firm, absolutely insane. And he was a basic member. And what I tend to see and what I recognize is basic members. So let me actually drop the link in here. Let me see if it works. It doesn't. So what I've noticed is basic. That is a, if you copy that, then you get to decide. But the basic members, they watch the videos. And when you watch the videos, all questions are actually answered. So uh, you don't need my full support because you already have the support in the videos. That's funny. But uh, the thing is, the, the main difference to answer your question, sorry. <laughs> To answer your question, uh, basic has education videos, masterclass has Discord. Uh, you can attend live Zoom calls. You have some different guides as well. Uh, Champion mindset, for example, and you have psychology worksheets, so mechanical worksheets. And I dive into my trading model fully. As a typical day trader, you are broke as fuck, which is this such a trader to join your masterclass or the basic. I always advise if you if you let's say we have masterclass masterclass is 175 a month if you can only buy one month go for the basic membership 
go for three months of basic membership instead of one month of master class. That is what I would advise, of course. And then afterwards, you can always say, all right, maybe I'm ready for the master class and I want to ask a few things. I want to get in personal contact with me. Then you can do that. But I would always advise if you are a bit broke, like you say, a typical day trader, very true, very relatable, then go for, uh, go for the basic. Or do you do gold? Uh, I do sometimes trade gold. I, we went over gold as well. I'm expecting a higher price on gold. This for value gap, this breaker, this breaker could prevent gold from coming into this for value gap. So keep that in mind. So this is pretty interesting, but I'm still expecting a sweep of this low. So that is what I would expect. A sweep of this low at least. And then a continuation higher. Thank you, got you, Andy, got you. Uh, yeah, I think I did that, right, uh, Adnan? Use the 2072 man sharp, in my opinion, FG breaker, mitigation block in line. Exactly, perfect. Great. G you're uh, giving great advice, Phantom. <laughs> Love to see it. Thank you for that. Did you say Seeking Destroy is taking a trade after sweep of previous day low? Uh, trading? Uh, not necessarily, but that is a condition where you can trade Seek and Destroy conditions, if that makes sense. So, when, for example, this is a perfect example. This is somewhat Seek and Destroy, right? You have, for example, you have an order block here. You can see the order block is not getting respected. We're not following through on that order block. You have a fair value gap here. We are not really respecting and we're not following through higher on that order block. Uh, that fair value gap, sorry. So in that case, you have probably some previous day highs right here. We have previous day high sweep. We know it's seeking short conditions. That's the first part. We know seeking short conditions is happening. We have a previous day high sweep. And then afterwards, we could target previous day low. So inside here, let's actually take a look. Let's just take a look. Inside here, you probably have some sort of entry, right? You have previous day high sweep and you know it's seeking short conditions. You have a value gap here. Could be a very early entry right there, overlapping with or block, or you could enter even there on that fair gap, and then you could target the previous day low or these lows up this liquidity. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Uh, yeah, gold right there. I'm expecting higher prices, so at least a sweep of this low, and then higher prices, boom, targeting this. This daily for value gap right there. Perfect. Just the base though. Yeah. True, true, true. When confirmed into market analysis and no resistance, higher time frame liquidity run to PD rate. When price takes an intermediate term high, just about a 50% swing rate level to the drawn liquidity, will deeper retracement usually occur? So, what you'll see around that time, Nick, that is a great question, by the way. If we still have a long target to go, so we are expecting. Higher price still. So let's say, uh, let's say for example here, we have this intermediate term high, right? Let's draw a swing rate. We're expecting price to come here and the intermediate term high is at this 50% level. What you will usually see is at this level, and again, correct me if, I, if this is not your question, but when we are going higher and we take out this intermediate term high and we are at the 50 percent, so we are at potentially equilibrium not not potentially this is equilibrium but potentially a consolidation so if we are continuing higher there's a characteristic of price what price will do it will likely consolidate around that high then have a retracement and then continue higher when we take that high and we somewhat consolidate that is something you can study as well that's a great study subject uh, then we likely consolidate when we're taking that high and then we have a spike down and then this is your move higher and what is that on the lower time frame what is this on the lower time frame it's your market maker buy model and that is where market maker buy models form when we take out a high consolidate have a move down so you're due to swing as well your fake move into a discount rate could be for value gap right there move higher that's a great question by the way see how <laughs> nick you're asking great questions and you get Great answers, right? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, Phantom. Uh, that's actually funny that you asked that. I don't know if you can read my mind, but I was, I'm actually, well, if, if there's someone out there, I'm actually looking for a thumbnail worker or someone that cre can create 
educational content with me. So together we brainstorm on educational content for my social media, uh, for my thumbnails, and someone that can potentially edit my videos. Now I don't want a, a, a short form editor. So you'll potentially see a lot of different people with there's a lot going on in the video. There's boom, bam, boom, bam, boom. I don't really like that. I want people to truly listen to the value that I'm giving. So it's still, still easy to watch in a sense. But sometimes I mention, for example, I mention intermarket analysis, and then I just want to have that intermarket analysis pop up in screen so people can actually see what I'm talking about because sometimes I mispronounce things as well. If that makes sense. So I'm actually looking for someone that has experience in Photoshop and Premiere Pro. Premiere Pro, you don't need a lot of experience, but Photoshop, I would love for someone to have a lot of experience that can create educational content with me. Of course, we uh, we we discuss the price, etc. Already has capital to do so, and it would exactly, exactly, it would make it uh, a bit more better, right? As a yeah, it's funny that you say that. <laughs> What's up, Mafus? Beautiful name, by the way, Mafus. What's up? What's up? How are you doing? You're my neighbor. <laughs> my neighbor from uh, from from Germany. Hi, Ario. Uh, thanks a lot for your content. In which case do you enter on first line uh, or second internal retrace? Is it based on time or another reason? It, that's a great, great, great that you spotted that. It is also based on time, yeah. So what you'll see a lot of times, you will hear me talk. For example, let's actually, this is the perfect example right here. You will hear me talk. Yes, we will see a sweep here and potentially enter here. But it is based on time. As in when we are hovering here. And this is Asia. Then I would expect London to spike into that. And then London or New York. The entry right there. So that is a lot is based on time. Like you said. And also is it overlapping with something. So this for gap is overlapping with this BPR right there. And with the breaker. So. A mix of both. Great question. Will CBDC affect forex trading? Is there anything someone knows? Uh, That's a great question, Mafuz. I actually don't really know currently. Uh, I know we are moving from settlement times, but will it affect it? I'm not sure. I, I don't. I don't really think so, to be honest. But there will be always something to trade with these concepts. So don't worry about it. Hi, Aro. Big thanks for your content. Big thanks for you. To you, Dean. Love to hear it. I've been probably studying your videos, a lot of your practical approach. I'm more confident of oh, drawn liquidity and ore flow as a result. A past phase. Hey, <laughs> I stumbled. The, I absolutely love to hear that, brother. Past phase one. Quick tip, though. Don't get euphoric right now, right? Uh, we have to keep that focus. Keep the focus on phase two. Keep the focus on getting the payout. And then we can potentially cheer. <laughs> keep me updated, Dean. Love to hear that, brother. Absolutely insane. Great to hear. Great to hear. I'm very proud, but keep it going. Job is not finished yet. If daily for gap is filled in a daily time frame, if FEG is still pending on a four hour, then what do we forecast? Great question. If that happens, you can still expect potentially a previous day low sweep into that four hour for gap and then a continuation higher, for example. Do you study fundamentals? If yes, how to study fundamentals regarding indices? Uh, it is very important. Fundamentals, I talked about in the previous ATZ guide video. Fundamentals for interest rate, for example. Uh, we I do study fundamentals, but I look at it from a chart perspective. So, if the dollar is rising, we have interest rates rising. That is a fundam fundamental aspect, aspect of the market. So, in that case, if interest rates are rising, then indices will likely go lower. That's how they impact. If you want a better explanation on it, then do check out the previous ATZ guide video. I took the same EU trade you took last. Hey, let's go. Let's go. I actually took a... Uh, uh, which trade did I take? I keep forgetting it. Which trade did I take? It was on... Uh, 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 I'm not sure which it was. Let me take a look. Let me take a look real quick. I'm not sure where it was. I would have to look at my journal. How much money you have made as a trader? Ooh, <laughs> that's a very personal question, my friend. It is a very personal question. Enough. I've made more from trading than I've made for my mentorship. That's for sure. Uh, I took the same. 
were perfect. Hi bro, I think you remember me. Can you explain your basic plan in a New York session? Sometimes I get confused like can I reverse or can I continue? Can I explain? Please explain. What's up, brother? I uh great to see you again here again. And uh the thing is with that is you need a proper high time frame uh understanding. So for example, let me dive into that. Let's grab the uh gold again. Oh, not so right here for example it depends on time again so let's say we have london is a consolidation here and new york comes into that then we can expect new york reversal but if london already comes into this then london expands then we can expect new york retracement so knowing the pd rays around you and on the higher time frame that will already tell you whether London uh, will be uh, the low of the day or the high of the day. And that is purely, of course, you have to be raised. And then secondly, you need to wait for London to come into it or New York to come into it. And when that happens, you can uh, react and you can know which one will, help, will be happening, essentially. Market maker model, exactly. Thanks, brother. I will do that. All right, perfect. Lo love, love to see that you're helping each other out, by the way. Guys, to join the membership and don't waste more of your time. 100% you get it. I'm here for two months and I'm already doing well. <laughs> it looks like you're paid now, AK. <laughs> I love to hear it though. I love to hear it. Love to hear it. Absolutely love to hear it. <laughs> uh, thank you for that. Thank you. Slow and steady. Exactly, Dean. Great. Keep me updated, Dean. How do you define a true break of structure? Uh, there's no real way of defining it, but there's subjective things that we can look at. Sometimes when we look at a break of structure, for example, here, uh, right there, sometimes people will take the wick already. So if it wicks the high, then they see it as a break of structure. I also see it that way. But if you truly want more confirmation, you could wait for a body close above it. But you can potentially gather data on it and look at your trades. If your trades took a lot of losses when it just wicked the break of structure, essentially, then see what happened if you waited for a body closure. Maybe it prevented some losses. Can you make video of mass, uh, models? Muscles. <laughs> models. I struggle on entries, but understand bias. Uh, yeah, let's let's do it. I will make a mark make a video as well. That way we have a better understanding of the models as well. Do you watch Formula One tonight? Yes. Yes, for sure. For sure. Are you watching? Are, are there any uh, Germans still in Formula One? I don't believe so, right? I think uh, Vettel was the last one, right? Or Schumacher. But Schum what happened to Schumacher? I heard about him last uh, uh, yesterday, but what happened actually? Was he just not good enough? Like not the not the Schumacher Schumacher, but Mick Schumacher, the the, the little one. I know what happened to the old one, but what do you think about Market Maker model course, the MMXM uh, course? Uh, I believe it's a great course. I believe it's a great course. But again. Uh, uh, not to discourage or to to send out bad hate to him. If you're watching that course, stick to that course. So I want, if you want Mark Maker Model Trader as your as your mentor, then stick to him, please. If you're now watching Mark Maker Model Course, because I know if you watch that course, you can be profitable 100%. Even off of his tweets alone, you can be profitable. And that is the same way as you can be profitable of my ATZ guide, etc. But you need to stick to one thing that is very important so you need to stick to one mentor same as if you're watching i don't know who can i think of ment effects <laughs> if you are watching ment effects then stick to him as your mentor and that way you will truly learn but he is it's a great course i believe i haven't seen it but i know some people that bought it so i think it's a great 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 course where can i find 2022 models answer me answer me <laughs> why do you say it like i'm your dog i'm not your dog come on but 2022, 2022 models is uh, is uh, in uh, 2022 mentorship ICT. If we are in the basic plan, can we go in the mass club in a couple months? Or place? Well, yes, when you are in the basic plan, George, you have priority access. So you always, uh, you always get access. If you just give me a heads up, so you will get an email where you can send it to, and you will get immediate access to the mass class. If that makes sense. So you always have access. You don't need to wait for enrollments, etc. 
But the good about your man's is you don't need all the ICD content to be profitable. Just pick up simple things, put them together. Exactly. That is true. Okay. <laughs> Love to hear. That is true. That is true. You don't need to know everything. And that's what a lot of people think, right? You don't need to know everything. It's just keep it simple. Keep it simple. No need to worry. Just make money. That's what we're here for. And that's always the argument I make to you have a lot of great clickbait titles. <laughs> don't. <laughs> don't. 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 Don't say it. It's a great clickbait title, right? <laughs> so uh, the thing is, uh, I always argue with this. When you have an ICT maxi, as I like to call them, they are full. No, I don't want to call them degenerates, but they are full of worshipping ICT. They are usually like the ICT all go guys, etc. And uh, not to take a shot or anything, but they are more focused on an algorithm and figuring out how an algorithm works than instead of focusing on how an algorithm works, why not focus on actually making money? That's why we got into trading, right? Uh, yes, we got into trading as well for freedom, but freedom and money are pretty correlating. They are in harmony with each other. So to make money, you don't need to know how an algorithm works, essentially. That's just a foolish, a foolish take in my opinion, but yeah. Do you use line chart for a break? So yeah, I don't, I used to do that actually. I used to do it. If you find that easier to, to view as well, then, then you can use do that for sure. Uh, definitely. Oh, yeah. On YouTube, Miss Diva. Uh, sorry. Uh, on YouTube, 2022 ICT mentorship. That is where you'll find the 2022 mod. Schumacher was bad. Yeah, he was. Hulkenberg. Yeah. True. Hulkenberg is back. Nice, nice, nice. You've answered my question perfectly. I genuinely love it. <laughs> Love you too, brother Nick. Love you too. Uh, great to hear that, by the way, because sometimes I get questions and I'm not sure if I'm answering the questions or I'm just going on a rant. But what's up, Zeus? Or is the goat? What's up, brother? How are you doing? Great to see you here, brother. What's up? What's up? What's up? Uh, I love to see uh, Mask Loss members and Mentorship members, members in here. I'm getting a little bit tired, man. I'm struggling with my words again. Would you go over Euro USD on the 15 minute because I saw that we were following bearish trend and we filled in a balance, but how would we be prepared to prepare to know price would react off it? Let me go over it. Uh 15 minute. So the thing is we need some context behind why we are using the 15 minute in this case. So uh, that is the first thing. Now what we had, we had a previous day high sweep. So where is it? Right there. We had a previous day high sweep, so we have a reason, a logical reason to use the 15 minute right here. Then what did we see? The sweep here, sweep here as well, but we don't have fair value gap lower. That's important. Then here, higher, fair value gap, fair value gap here. And now we need to, uh, once we take this low, the, this liquidity, I would want a new reason to look at the 15 minute. So we always, that's, that's the biggest mess up. I could call it. If you're only trading the 15 minutes, you won't have an eagle eyes view on what the market is actually doing. So we need to zoom out again and we need a new reason to use the 15 minutes. So right here, we need to either wait for price to potentially come above previous week high and then we can use the 15 minutes or what I would prefer here is a previous day low right there into the daily for gap. And then we have also a reason to use the 15 minutes and then we could target the opposing because you can't. That is very important. I hope that answered a bit. Uh, do you use Power of 3 at all? So can you show me an example? I don't actually use it because uh, the thing with Power of 3, right? Let's say we have a Power of 3 here. We open up, we have London session, and then we have New York. If I draw a line here at midnight, so let's say this is midnight, then we have Power of 3 into the daily value gap. And then we continue higher, continue higher, above midnight open. Then we have distribution here. If we now remove that line and remove the power of three aspect, we have the same exact thing. Only thing is, we don't need to look at the power of three. That is the beauty of it. So a lot of people use power of three when they actually don't need to use it. Because whether I look at power of three here or don't look at, I would still see the exact same setup. And that is a bit of a mind fuck. I hope I always try to explain this my best as I can, but that is very important. But so yeah, I do use it, but it's incorporated into my plan. But I 
don't pay attention to it. That's always how I explain it. I'm thinking of sticking into one pair for the rest of the half year. Should I? Yeah, go for it. Why not? If 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 that's your, if you feel like doing that, then go for it for sure. That's the best option you can do. I'm late. Oh, no worries, Zinu. You can watch it again if you want to. No worries. If you don't mind, can you tell us how it works the basic plan? Will there be some lives and more? Uh, yes, you get everything. You have everything. The the masterclass also has the education videos. You have the core of everything, the concepts I'm teaching, etc. And you can watch the live streams back that we record. So you won't be able to attend the Zoom calls, but you can watch them back. So you have everything you need, essentially. That makes sense. So all the educational videos, there's a lot of educational videos, but you don't need everything, but everything is there. Thanks a lot for your stuff. No worries. No worries. Oi. Oi Bay. This is a nice name. I like that. Doing great, bro. Hope you're having a... I'm having a great weekend, brother. Having a great weekend, especially with you in the mask class. And then I'm always having a great weekend, brother. <laughs> uh, love, Zeus. Love, love, love. If you would have an FEG on the five minute, uh, why shouldn't I enter there? Hmm. That is a... Ooh, that is a... That, is, is that a riddle for me? <laughs> <laughs> How should I view that, uh, Fabian? No, if you have a five minute fair value gap, why shouldn't I enter there? Let me think of that. The only reason I can think of it is when you have no context behind the five minute fair value gap. If we come into this daily fair value gap and we have five minutes fair value gap going higher, then there's context behind it so you can enter. If we have, if we come into this daily fair value gap and we have a five minutes fair value gap going lower, I wouldn't enter that because we are coming into a higher time frame discount. So what is stronger? The five minute premium in form of the five minutes for value gap or the daily discount right there. The daily discount is going to absolutely wipe that five minutes for value gap out of the way, right? I think I'm unfortunately falling the current trying to be perfect. I began studying in September 2022 and finished on Coca-Cola. Now seems to forget. Yeah, Nick, that is... Uh, very relatable and i don't think you fall under the category because i think we all as human beings <laughs> fall under the category of trying to be perfect and uh, that is with every aspect in life i can even notice it for myself on social media etc and in in trading as well we always strive to be perfect and that is in this case it, a lot of times it's detrimental because we are not perfect and we have to fail over and over again to, to become better, etc. And when we always look for that perfect model, then it just won't come, essentially. That's, that's the main premise behind it. So stick to something you like and then, uh, and then start applying it, is what I would say. And that is the difficult part, of course. But if you constantly search for new educational things, then you will stay in, in circles, essentially. That is a very dangerous part that I've also been in, for sure. I think we've all we all can relate so don't worry you're not alone you're not alone at all and this is also a big movement that i think is important to to emphasize on when you see casales do australian dollar pairs move better yeah they do uh they do but that depends on what the australian dollar uh drawn liquidity is as well so on australian dollar we had so i was uh, actually a little inside dollar was a bit consolidating and Australian dollar had a very clear drawn liquidity here, which was these highs. So I went over to Australian dollar pairs and went to trade them. How do you define strong low and what would be class inducement, bro? Oh, inducement. I haven't heard that, uh, that, that in a long time. So I can actually take an example right here. A strong low. Uh, the strongest low you can have is an intermediate term low. And then you have short term lows. A strong low is a low with a fair value gap in the lag in itself. Here we have a low. We have a fair value gap here. This is a stronger low than this low. Why? There's no fair value gap in this leg up. This low is not that strong as well. Why? There's no fair value gap in this leg up on the respective time frame where the low is. So the four hour, we have a low with no fair value gap higher. Same here. We have a high. No fair value gap here. This high is weaker than this high. Why? Because this high has a, has a fair value gap in the leg. Inducement can be seen as the same way. So we have inducement here before this four hour for value gap that we can now step into with inducement, with liquidity, and then we can continue higher. Oh, that makes sense. 
or so you said do you, your hard work on the high tariff and then entries exactly hard work is where the high, uh, oh, sorry other way around high tariff frame is where the hard work is and the easiest part is the entry that's it draw liquidity is always going to be a bit tougher and you need to have a lot of patience for that but the entry should be the easiest part do you handle offset accumulations like distribution trades different to reaccumulations yeah it's a bit different because you will first have for example if we see now see this then we have uh, an offset accumulation then here we have a reaccumulation so this could be london for example and this is new york new york is a little bit easier entry generally for for beginning traders because it's easier to see if you guys are thinking about joining the Moscow series you just join it you won't regret it <laughs> thank you brother thank you Zayu. thank you thank you thank you appreciate that <laughs> uh this is an amazing q a god bless <laughs> thank you thank you for being here it's amazing because you are asking great questions that's why it's amazing right if, if you were to ask me what a pip is then it wouldn't be that great because yeah i would just refer you to to something else so much knowledge appreciate you Zeus. great to see you here man remember mark make a buy model chfjpy last live streaming it was flying hey let's take a look actually let's take a look did we t yeah we touched on that right no not a wonder i always use forex.com by the way that's just personal preference that's not not nothing special about it but mark make a buy model yeah we talked about it right this has actually been flying that's crazy that is crazy it is a shame that price action here was so shitty but it's been flying that's crazy yeah beautiful mark make a buy model though the sell side is beautiful the buy side is more here's it's nice again here this new mark make a buy model gets started and then nice very nice Thank you for the reminder, by the way. Thank you. Uh, 3 a.m. part. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Fabian. My bad. <laughs> love, bro. Love, Zeus. Love, love, love. How are you? With so many PD rates and time frames, how can you keep your chart clean and not get lost? That's a great question. That's a great question as well. Uh, it is sticking to PD rates that you like, first off. So I always like to tell people a mitigation block, who gives a shit? If it's truly a mitigation block, right? The only thing important right there is seeing it as a support or resistance level. So whether you call an order block a breaker block or a breaker block an order block, who gives a shit? Nobody gives a shit. N nobody is coming to arrest you. Maybe some stupid ICT uh, nerd will come to you and say, Oh, it is a breaker block and not an order block. Who cares? Nobody cares. As long as you make money off of it, that's perfectly fine. And then... The next thing is, how can we keep the chart so clean with so many time frames? Is by focusing on one pair at a time. So for the higher time frame, I focus on multiple pairs. When I'm executing, I focus on one pair. That is how I keep my charts pretty clean and having a notion to the side. Uh, for example, these pairs is what I wanted to focus on uh, last week. So I already know I'm involved in those pairs. I know where it is on Tuesday. I know where it is on Monday. I know where it is on Wednesday. I know where it is on a wednesday morning etc and that way i can already uh clean the chart a lot if that makes sense hopefully bitcoin that's a great suggestion as well because bitcoin i've been looking at it to let me go over the buy bits uh, thing we came into the weekly level finally right there so we can now expect a higher price again potentially to this monthly sibi is what i'm expecting at least so what can we continue higher off of uh, potentially here but we could see even a move into that and then a continuation higher so i'm expecting higher prices on bitcoin do we have something on the daily as well the daily for value gap right there pretty clean pretty pretty clean right there let's see do you use uh cut data and seasonal tendency stuff when trading uh, i generally don't use it you can use it but See, there's an extra confluence. So the thing is, uh, got data and seasonal tennis can be a nice confluence. But if uh, May is going higher, for example, a lot of people uh, said, all right, we will see low price on the dollar because it is May. Uh, that's not how it works. We will already see in price if, if, if 
May is going to go higher or lower. And we had the exact same call right here to go higher. And not because it's May, but because price action agreed with it. So price action will already tell you a lot. You don't need the seasonal tendencies. But again, but again it works for you, then that's perfectly fine, right? That's perfectly fine. But I personally don't use it to answer your question. Mark up to the ones that you need. Exactly. Exactly. Thank you for helping, by the way, Zeus. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. What is your approach to trading from a psychological standpoint? Well, from a psychological standpoint, it is very interesting. Because if we look at from a psychological standpoint, uh, what you'll hear people say from ICT, etc. Or I'm not here to take shots at ICT or anyone, but it's just how I view life and the markets and trading. But if we know 90% of the traders are failing, all right, why are 90% of the traders failing? It's not because the technicals are that hard. Technicals are not that hard. It's not, it's not science. Believe me, it's not. And they can be understood. That is, that is not the hard part. What is the hard part? Psychology. Because psychology is against human nature. You have to conquer your own mind to, <laughs> to succeed in trading. And that is difficult. So, in, uh, in that, which one or where are you taking liquidity? You are not necessarily taking someone's liquidity because you are taking out a low or a high. Because not everyone is uh, in the chart perfectly in their trading. No. People are in the chart a lot of times because they are over trading or they're trading a bit too early. They are messing up their entry pattern because they are FOMO. And they are now getting out early because they are scared to take profit. They are scared to let a trade run. They are now revenge trading. So you are out competing someone on a psychological level who can keep their psychology in check the longest. That is the one who will win. And that is the same with everything in life. That's the same if you are a footballer, a basketballer, who can keep their mindset the strongest over years and years and years of time. That is the one who will win. Because he will keep going. He will be consistent. He will not mess up. He will not be in drawdown a lot because he will keep the psychology in check. That is how I view uh, trading from a psychological standpoint. Again, the if that was your question, hopefully. How long did it take you to become funded from time you first found ICT? Actually, not that long, but I first had a strategy that incorporated a lot of stuff. It was also a little bit of ICT. The first thing I found about ICT was kill zones. And uh, it was Mark Maker Primer series, I believe. Something along the lines of that. I was, I was, it was like around three years ago. That was the first thing I found about ICT. And then I incorporated that. And so my voice <clears throat> is gone. And then, <laughs> and then I incorporated it with a little bit of Wyckoff, with a little bit of supply and demand here and there. And then I got funded like one month in, but I blew it the next day. So it's not that, not that relevant, but yeah. And then slowly after years of work of focusing solely on ICT, then I got funded again. So it's just sticking to, to one thing that helped me the most, I would say. Can you help, uh, help us identify when a move is a pullback and when it is trend change? Like ES chart on Friday. Let's take a look. ESU. Oh. Friday. So are you talking about the lower time frame? Friday. When is trend change and when is Friday? So for example here, right? Uh, let me see. Where was the question? When a move is a pullback and when is trend change? So right here, I would call this a, uh, a pullback. The thing here, it's important to understand the days of the week. So in the days of the week, it is very important to understand that on Thursday or Friday, we might likely cap the week. So when uh, we sweep Thursday's high, we can likely see a cap of the week. We are now making the high of the week. So one hour. Okay, let's see. One hour. When is the trend change? So here... On the one hour, is this a trend change or is this a, a pullback? It is important to understand here, again, we are sweeping previous day high. We could see a short term trend change to something on the higher time frame, something above the one hour, where we continue higher. So on the daily, for example, this is not a trend change. This is just foundation to continue higher. So to, to not get confused in that, we need to have a higher time frame context. So I always tell people, 
the time frame you are looking at so the one hour needs to be in context of the time frame above it so the one hour needs to be in context of the four hour the four hour needs to be in context of the daily so on so on and so on what do you think about the weekly market maker sell model on beat c uh, 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 uh. i do think we are heading higher on bitcoin <clears throat> Uh, mainly because, uh, yeah, this is just, I would look at this as a market maker buy model more. So something along like that. So I don't really see a market maker someone currently. This is crucial. True, it is the time frame being in context of one hour. That is very, very crucial. That's a quote we need at Clift <laughs> about the psychology. Clip it for me, please. And send it to my... Uh, Send it, uh, send it to the Discord, uh, Discord, not my Discord, my Twitter, or uh, put it actually on my Twitter, uh, on my timeline, or just tag me in tweet, and I'll see it more. I'll see it, I'll see it earlier. Let's put it that way. <laughs> this if that data range, I don't necessarily use them. Uh, yes, I use them, but again, it is not relevant in my trading plan because I don't take a look at it. So I use it, but I don't. And the reason for that is if we are targeting liquidity, I don't really care if it's 60 days ago, 40 days ago. I, I noticed from ETA data range, it more so confused me than it was beneficial for me. Again, that is my personal preference, but that, that's, that's for me. Same dollar Canadian weekly for me, QM. Let me see. Ooh, weekly. Hmm. Yeah, true. We could now have a breaker here right and she continue higher so next week when we close next week so upcoming week we will close with a weekly candle and then likely we will have a weekly fair value gap sitting there so that is something to pay attention to mm -mm. yeah indeed true 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 mind is the the biggest problem it's all about discipline i did not take a trade in 10 days but on the seventh day i made one exactly patient you're edge in the market exactly and that that in those 10 days that you succeeded to wait AK, okay, it is <clears throat> it is so crucial to wait because a lot of people in that waiting moment not waiting for that high probability condition that is where people will mess up essentially and that is why what differentiates the professionals from the amateur right it's it's very important like you said you said it perfectly Semper, hi brother great channel i appreciate I appreciate you appreciate you Semper. just you in an entry of 2022 ist model when a low and i see high intermediate term high form how can we trust that a low is not taken and when do we trust a break of an intermediate term high in entry of a low and intermediate term high form it depends on uh the i i have a difficulty understanding it but it depends on the higher time frame again so uh the lower time frame again uh i i tell us to, them, to my mentorship always the lower time frame will always be clean if the higher time frame can be clean, then you have the highest probability action. So the lower time frame will always be clean. And that is very important. So uh, yes, there will always be a reason to enter on the lower time frame. But so what is the what is the filtering process? The higher time frame. When we have something clean on the higher time frame, then we take lower time frame liquidity as well. Uh, for example, right here, we come into this fair value gap. On the lower time frame, there will be, obviously, there will be some form of liquidity here. But the important part is the higher time frame context that we are continuing higher of the, on the higher time frame. That makes sense. All right, I finally caught a live stream. Just decided to start my phone based on strategy I use for my videos. Love you, dude. So glad to have you and your... <laughs> love you, brother. Absolutely love to hear it, man. Keep, it, keep us updated, by the way. Keep us updated. Please do. Please do. Or... Uh, if if you all want uh, my attention, essentially, either come into these live streams or send me a tweet. So not in my DM on Twitter, but send me a true tweet on Twitter. That way I, I see it more. I get it on my timeline and I can truly see it because my DMs are fluid. So keep me updated, brother. Let's go. Keep that patience. Keep that psychology in check. You got this. You got this. And if there's anything I can help with, then please do let me know. Love to have you here, brother. Great to see you here. Do you like to see a low time frame rate in the high time frame breaker slash more mitigation block? Yeah, that's the funny part. So, <clears throat> sorry, my voice is a little bit gone. But the funny thing is, when we have 
for example we have a move into uh, i don't know this breaker right here then automatically we will have a lower time frame rate we will automatically have a lower time frame turtle soup so the lower time frame in that case is not really relevant the lower time frame is only relevant in the sense that you now need to look for an entry pattern that is the lower time frame so the lower time frame liquidity being taken you can see it as a placebo <laughs> you can see it as a placebo effect and now you have the confidence to take it but is it truly relevant yeah you could argue it is but the relevant thing is we came into this breaker right here and on lower time frame yes we will obviously have liquidity taken but the important thing is we need <clears throat> we need uh, some form of entry pattern on the weekly chart there are some gaps in between cancel and es do you think we retest those gaps yeah that's why i do not like es currently because it's been expanding so long i would want to see a retracement to get involved again so I do think eventually of course i'm not trying to call it top that's the dangerous part about expanding i do not want to call it top not want to call uh, not to chase price so i want to see a retracement potentially but until then i'm just staying out <coughs> eu five minutes can you see let me see let me see let me see eu five minutes uh you can see an MSS and may you give a reason not to take it. So here I would not take it. <coughs> Damn. Uh, after this question, I'm I'm done for uh, everybody. Uh, so here I would not take it because there's no high time frame context behind it just yet. We were on a Friday. Friday is not generally a trending day. The trend was going higher. Right here, I would not take this because there is no context behind it yet. That is very important uh, to understand right now. So. I need to first to have a checklist first high time frame or a one hour premium rate or discount rate five minute mark start shift a fair value gap that is where I would want to enter at 3 a.m. I mean sorry <laughs> sorry Fabio my bad oh here okay yeah no this is a perfect entry <laughs> yeah this is an entry uh, you could potentially take now I personally wouldn't take this but that is because i have a rule behind it on the uh, mentorship so the mentorship people will know that is the type of premium rate we have here then i wouldn't go into the five minute the five minute is too low of a lower time frame here for me to jump into it if you know you know <laughs> i'm sorry to be so mysterious about this but uh, that's a mentorship thing where uh, i wouldn't go into the five minute here i would go into the 15 minute so the 15 minute here would avoid but that could be something for you to study as well uh, here, the 15 minute is something I would use and not the five minute. Uh, do you see a dollar mark break seller? Yes, dollar. I do think we are heading lower on the dollar to potentially this low. All right, bro, you gotta save some brain points for the rest of the day. <laughs> I don't have anything to do. I do, of course, I need to do the uh, mentorship stuff. I'll be fine. <laughs> Appreciate that though. If you know, you know exactly. If you know, you know. So, what futures do you recommend to trade instead of yes for the time being? Uh, the Dow, the YM. I would look at the YM currently. <clears throat> Can you tell me what is your strategy or model? Uh, I go into it on the AZ guide. No, no, no. You don't have to buy my mentorship, Fabian. You can uh, study this. Study this. We have a previous day high. I would go into the 15 minute and not the five minute. But you don't have to buy my mentorship. Don't worry. You don't have to buy it. Uh, I would have bought it <laughs> anyway. So, <laughs> all right, then buy it. No, no, no. I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, I would go into the 50 minute because it depends on which time frame the premium or discount rate is, and then I would go into a time frame that fits that time frame's PD rate. If that makes sense. <laughs> D sharks, what's up, brother? Thank you. Thank you for being here. All right, I'm going to end it here. Uh, thank you everyone this was a great 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 live stream thank you everyone for being here let's keep this going we are back with the live streams of course last week i missed it <clears throat> this week we are back next week we are back let's keep it smashing and let's keep it going with the az guide we're not finished yet let's keep evolving let's keep getting better and let's focus on our psychology especially so i want to thank you all i want to thank you for being here truly i love you all and i will see you at the next one perfect thank you